July 16th, Saint Mary Magdalene Postel, Virgin Third Order. Julie Frances Catherine Postel, the daughter of a rope manufacturer, was born at Barfleur in Normandy on November 28th, 1756. After her elementary education, she received further training from the Benedictine nuns at Boulogne. There, she decided to devote her entire life to the service of God and her neighbor, and privately took the vow of chastity. Five years after she opened a school for girls in La Breton, the French Revolution broke out. During the persecution, she played a heroic part in helping the priests who were in hiding or in prison and in strengthening the faith of the loyal Catholics of Barfleur. She was authorized to keep the Blessed Sacrament in her house, and when conditions grew worse, to carry the Blessed Sacrament on her person, and even to administer Holy Viaticum to the dying in cases of emergency. The Jacobins often suspected her, but she enjoyed the special protection of God, and no harm came to her. After the storm had passed, Julie helped to restore the faith by catechizing young and old, and began to teach school once more at Cherbourg. With the approval of the vicar, Louis Cabart, she and two other women established a religious community there in 1805. And two years later, they and another who had joined them pronounced their vows. They called themselves the Poor Daughters of Mercy and observed the rule of the Third Order of St. Francis. During the first 30 years, the new Franciscan sisterhood encountered many bitter disappointments and trials, but Mother Mary Magdalene, as Julie was now called, persevered courageously in her vocation. The mother house of the congregation was transferred in 1832 from Cherbourg to the former Benedictine Abbey of saint savour le in Cortance. And in 1837, the Vicar General de la Mar substituted, in place of the Third Order rule, that of St. John, Bapti John Baptist de la Salle, the founder of the Christian Brothers. Henceforth, the members of the community were called Sisters of Mercy of the Christian Schools. <clears throat> During the last few years of her life, Mother Mary Magdalene saw her sisterhood expand and achieve great things. It was at her instigation also that the Vicar General de la Mar, in 1843, founded the School Brothers of Mercy at Montbourg. Mother Mary Magdalene was almost 90 years old when she died on July 16, 1846. Her sisterhood continued to grow and spread also to other countries, especially England and Italy. In 1862, it was established in Germany when four school teachers adopted the statutes of these sisters. But in 1920, this foundation became independent with its mother house at Heiligenstadt. The original French sisterhood received papal approbation in 1901. Mother Mary Magdalene was canonized in 1925 by Pope Pius XI. Mary, Comfort of the Afflicted. Consider that the Blessed Mother of God has been appointed as the consoler of all who suffer, especially those who, like St. Mary Magdalene Postel, meet unexpected and discouraging difficulties in the work they have undertaken solely for the honor of God and the good of souls. Holy Mother Church bids us call on Our Lady Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. And it is right that she should be so called, because she brought into this world the God of all comfort, and still more so because she has been given as a mother to all who suffer. The beloved disciple stood deeply afflicted beneath the cross of our dying Savior, and our Lord, 
pointed to Our Lady with the words, Behold your mother. Where does a sorrowful child turn more instinctively than to the heart of his good mother? Are you suffering? Go to Mary. Behold your mother. Consider why Mary is full of pity towards all who suffer. She herself tasted all sufferings, in fact, was satiated with suffering to the utmost. She can ask of all, Behold and see whether there is suffering like to mine. Lamentations 1.12 A mere glance at the sorrowful mother brings comfort and helps us see how small are our sufferings compared with hers. And tender compassion prompts her to help us in our distress. She could not even witness the embarrassment of the married couple at the wedding of Cana without asking her divine son to relieve them. Say therefore with confidence, to thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, turn thine eyes of mercy towards us in our necessities. Have you turned with confidence to Mary in your sufferings? Consider the power Mary has to help the afflicted. She is now the Queen of Heaven and has influence through her intercession over the omnipotence of God. At her wish, all our sorrows can be converted to joy. But because she is also a wise virgin and knows that suffering and crosses contribute to our salvation, she sometimes leaves them for her best clients to bear but then she sends them strength and comfort. That is what St. Mary Magdalene experienced. That is what thousands of others experience at the various shrines of Our Lady. Beg her that in all the visitations of God, she too may visit you and obtain for you God's strengthening grace. Prayer of the Church. O God, the sublimity of the humble and the strength of those who hope in Thee, who didst make Saint Mary Magdalene Thy Virgin wondrous by virtues, and through her didst enrich Thy Church with a new progeny, mercifully grant that by her help and being freed in imitation of her from earthly things, we may always hold on to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Saint Mary Magdalene Postel, pray, pray for us. us.